Hey, welcome back to the Sim Lounge. Thanks for stopping by again today. Today I want to explain to you how to train your AI in R Factor. Now, a lot of the Dirtworks design tracks that I run, their AI works great on them. But a lot of the tracks that people mod for uh, leagues or whatever, the AI is not real, not real good there at all, to say the least. Some tracks are good, but some they're not. So there's a way to get in there and let the AI learn the track in the fastest way around, then you save it, and then you have a decent race with them. I mean, it's not perfect, of course, but it's better than what you get normally just by jumping into a, a race in our factory, like with the Dirt Modifies or the Sprint Cars or something. So I'm going to show you guys how to train your AI. It doesn't always work on all the tracks. Sometimes it's tough for the cars to get out of the pits. So those tracks, I don't know how to do that, how to get them past that point or whatever. If anybody out there knows, be awesome if you leave a comment in the description down there for me and let me know. So we're going to jump into it here and uh, show you guys how to do this. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find your uh, R Factor folder. Mine's in my D drive external. Go to Steam Library, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, go to R Factor. And then this is where it gets, you know, you got to pay attention here. You go to user data. And then you find your name or however you, what the user is in your account. Click on that. Then you go down to the PLR folder. Right click on that. Open it with notepad. Uh, so here, here is the player file for this, this game. You got your driver. This is really cool stuff here. You can change the traction of the track and stuff. I've been messing with that a little bit. We'll do a video on that later because I haven't uh, got that down yet. But I have got a little bit. I can make a difference, but not like the coders would do. So just a rookie here. So anyways, we're going to go down to its game options. It's called right here. Game options. See this? So we're going to go to game options. Uh, that's not working. My camera's in the way. There we go. So what you're looking for is... It's so tough to find sometimes in here. Right here. Auto calibrate AI mode. See it right here? I can't highlight it. I don't know how to do that. So it is set to zero. You need to change this to a one. Okay. Then you go up here. And you make sure you save it. Okay. Now we're going to get out of there. Now I'm going to open open up SimHub. And I'm going to start R Factor. R Factor right now is so much fun. I'm having so much fun with it. I download a bunch of new tracks. Pennsylvania tracks and Ohio tracks. And man, I'm just having a blast with it. So I don't know. Like I said in my last video how many people are playing this. But if you haven't, give it a shot, man. It's just it's just good fun. I was trying to late models last night at Port Royal. Man, it's fun. All right, so we're going to go to the mod. I'm going to do the big block modifieds because that's what I run the most. <clears throat> and you go to settings here, up top here. <clears throat> you go to, this is important. So I'm going to get this done, and then I'll have you guys, if you need to take a screenshot. So one AI driver, grid position one, pull. 8.30 a.m., standing start, none, private testing on, labs, that doesn't matter. Over here, tire wear, make sure everything's off over here. You know, no flag that's off. And vulnerability off because I run that on. So, just the big block, okay? So, then you go up here to testing. Go to test and tune. So then you go to the plus button over here, the green one, and you click on that. And AI driver just went out of the pits. Make sure it says live. See this right here where it says live? Make sure it says live. So it says John Zachary, track learning started. Stay out of my way, human. Oh, that's funny. So what he's doing is he's going out on the track. So this is just one AI. We're going to apply this to all the AI or you'd have to do this individually for every car, and nobody wants to do that. So the goal is here is to get this the closest to 0.00, .00 you can. 
You'll see here in a minute when it gets a track what the numbers are. Uh, it is just, so 48.40 .40 meters, that's where he's at, okay? So he's going to try to get this down as close to zero as he can. That means he's found the, the fastest line around the place. We're going to save that so all your AI will have the fastest line. So he's down to 0.86. This could take a hundred laps, this could take two laps, okay? Once you get a couple laps in, control T, and it'll fast forward. See? So he got to 0 0.04. That, that's good, that's good. But I want to show you, say it's a 86.5, he just didn't get a good one. You go, make sure you clicked on him, you go to minus, you get rid of him, and you add another AI. And remember the name, too, of who the AI is, because you need to, once we do this, we need to go back in and find that uh, that name, his folder, and get the, the information out of that. Because once he gets to a 0 0.04 and you click out of here, it saves the file in the there folder. So you need to get in there, and I'll show you what to do after that. But... It's pretty simple once you understand it, but some tracks, like I said, just, they won't do it. They can't get out of the pits. I forget, I forget what track, whoever built the track, great track, but in the pits, the car's like right next to the trailer and they can't even get out of the pits. It's like, it's so discouraging, like these tracks are awesome, but the AI racing isn't that good at it, so, you know, what are you gonna do? But a, a lot of, I've got, Eight, nine tracks I've done and the racing's fabulous. Like Utica Rome, the cars are kind of funky here and there. I went in and trained it and I have a great race. Awesome. I gotta turn the, the strength down because they're so quick and they race you real hard and it's a lot of fun. So this is just a quick video how to do this. I'm learning as we go here. I'm doing things. Like I said, I've messing with the traction and stuff, so that's fun. Train change the traction to the inside of the corner, middle, the outside, or the straightaways. But you gotta, they must do it in percentage, so it's a gradual, because I've done it, and I, like, I build a big curve and the things will flip, so you don't want that, obviously, so I gotta work more on that, but... So he's out there, making laps, he's getting real close, 0 0.44. Jeff Bradshaw. I put uh, people I know and real drivers' names in the AI here, so uh, it's, it's more interesting, right? So here we are. He's done. Track learning successful at 0, 0.00. That's what we want. So now we go up here and we just get out of here. We get rid of the game, and then we... Go back. Game data. Vehicles. Big block modifieds, big block modifieds, big blocks. Then we go find Jeff Bradshaw. All right, so here it is. I found the file. See, you guys won't have this issue, but I changed the name, so it really messes me up. I kind of didn't do myself a favor, but here it is. So it says SCL Port Royal is what it is. So what you want to do is you want to cut this, okay? Right click, cut. Then you're going to back out, back out. And then right in here, where it's your uh, big blocks or whatever, you want to uh, right-click and paste it there. Replace it. I've already done it, so I'm just going to get out of there. But that's what you do. You just right-click in there, and then you get out of there, open our factor back up again, then go to your settings, make sure you go back to where you were, Oh, I forgot to uh, change the other thing. But I'll do this real quick. I did it the uh, backwards. Tireware invulnerability. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. So you're going to open up your... F go back to your uh, your user data, remember? User data. John Zachary. Go down to your PLR folder. Right click. Open a notepad. Go back down to game data. 
and find uh, your <coughs> your AI. See, here's auto line smooth. This is something I've messed with too. Fastest line is one, two equals inside and outside, three is fastest and inside and outside. I set it to three. So they run all over the track, which makes it, you know, more real. So you got to go auto calibrate AI mode. Again, find that again. You back, get, click in front of the one backspace, put a zero back in there. So that way all your AI is going to have that info that you just got from the car you uh, trained. Make sure you put the zero in there. Exit out. Do you want to save? Yes. So that's done. That's done. Then we go back to R Factor, Port Royal. It's the heats. We got a ton of tracks too. I found a ton of tracks. So I'm going to go through and uh, show you guys how to do that too. I'm just going to jump out in hot laps here real quick just to show you that it works. This is a great, great track. They did a good job. It's not the new version of Port Royal. If you've been to Port Royal lately, the place is just really, really awesome. They've done a lot of changes, but it's still, it's good. See, the pits are on the outside of Port Royal now. So this is, this is a few years back. Strunky. Green. It's beautiful though, isn't it? I mean, the, they just did a good job. So yeah, they're jumping on the track and uh, we'll see where we stack up with this uh, training that we just did. What I have the difficulty at, 97. Drunky ahead of us, see if we can chase him down. Yeah, what I've noticed is I've had to back down the, the AI strength after I trim because they're so stinking fast. Looks like we're quicker through one and two, but look at that opening, man. I can't believe they ran it like that. Isn't that crazy? So we're eighth fastest right now, which is good. Driving like a moron, so I think I'm going to do a short track super series race here video. Run the sail right, panels. Speaking of sail panels, somebody just wrecked. Wow! And, uh,. do a race down here because they have a race in October down here and it's it's a really good show. So I'm ninth, so my AI is uh, definitely, definitely good. This track is fun, man. It is, it is fun. There's bite up top there. finish that session and I'm just gonna get into a, a race just to see how they react because maybe something is messed up and if so maybe I'll have to retrain them but it went down to 0, 0.00 and that's that's what you want so they know the fastest line around here but something might have happened and once they get bonkers they're they're done and it's just all part of it you know like I said nothing's perfect some tracks they go crazy a lot but a lot of tracks it's perfect racing it's awesome i just uh, downloaded rolling wheels if anybody remembers that out there and uh the racing's pretty good i'm gonna get in there and train them on there too because there's a couple spots that are they're like funky they like slow right down for a second so i'm gonna see if i can change that but we'll see and we're off we'll see how the ai react here in this i'm just not going to do the full 30 laps Man, my brakes are messed up. We're getting a little bunched up there, but they should spread themselves out.
Yeah, they're beating and banging a little bit. That's cool. Yeah, see right there, they're kind of, they slow down a little bit. I'm not sure. But in that case, if they're, you just got to bump up the strength a little bit, that they're really tough on the other end or whatever, you know? It's kind of a, science to it, I guess, and I'm just trying to learn as I go. I mean, you know, I'm still dead last here. Lapey just won't move. Come on, Lapey. Yeah, they're definitely slow right in that area. They just get jammed up for whatever reason, but they're fast everywhere else. I'll tell you what, Ronnie Johnson ahead of me. Like through here, man, they're just... So what I would do is I would bump my AI up to like 100, so in this section they're a little bit faster than they are, and then down here they're really fast, so I got to, you know, it should equal out is what I'm saying. If something like that bothers you, then I guess you just can't have a good AI race here, but, you know, I'm going to try to make the best of wherever I'm at, because it's just fun. I've seen Matt Williamson drive around people on the outside down here, so him and Stewie. So it's, it's not like it's not real. Look at I'm still 17, so... Alright, I'm going to end it on that note because I'm really not concentrating. But, uh, yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you uh, train your AI. So that you just, you know, you just... I just take an hour I just do a bunch of tracks. And then go race because that, that gets boring after a while. But like I said, if it... Uh, Get a, let the car get a couple three four laps and then hit uh, control T and it'll fast forward it and then hit control T to stop it before you get out of there and like I said the first one if he goes out and doesn't get close just get rid of him and try another one and keep trying to keep trying you'll get close as you know you possibly can some tracks you won't get anything because they just won't get out of the pits but I hope this has helped you guys I really appreciate you stopping by and uh, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you.